Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching on, as I welcome you once again to the Abu Dhabi Tour. It's stage four, the first ever individual time trial. OK, let's concentrate on Rowan Dennis now. Here we are, the Australian time trial champion and one of the big, big favourites. Certainly looking for the general classification tomorrow, that climb, that final stage up the climb. This is what it's all about, trying to take the stage win. He will certainly want to get a good scalp here with, uh, with the likes of world champion Tom de Moulin, but also setting himself up for a potential overall victory tomorrow. Two seconds was, it, was his advantage at the time check. Yeah, uh, he's had a fantastic second half of this course. He's going to set the best time by some distance as well. Wow. Rowan Dennis, 16 seconds faster than Miles Scotson. Got a feeling Alaphilippe might be going a little bit faster than Yates and Lopez at this point. It's going to be close. I think Alaphilippe, yeah, he's going to be better off than Lopez and Yates. In fact, he's going to take a chunk of time on both of them. Good ride from Julian Alaphilippe from the Frenchman. He's going to stop the clock in provisional sixth place at 14.55. He gains 15 seconds on Lopez and Yates. Former European time trial champion coming over the line now in provisional. Is he going to hold on to second place? 14.35, he stops the clock. He's 20 seconds faster than Julian Alaphilippe, but only in second place, 14 seconds slower than Rowan Dennis. The first time that we're going to see the rainbow bands of Tom Dumoulin, the reigning and newly crowned world time trial champion at the back end of last year in Bergen. Oh, oh, hang on. What's going on here? Bike change, a puncture. Something's gone on with Tom Dumoulin. Big, significant moment in the Abu Dhabi Tour here. You could see his race just going up in smoke at this moment. Now, here's Wilco Kelderman. Now, this becomes ever more important for Team Sunweb with Dumoulin losing time in the time trial. Kelderman's time trial suddenly gains an extra layer of significance. He was very, very quick through 8.1 uh, kilometres. 8.16 he went through there. Very respectable, more than respectable. And this is a brilliant time from Wilco Kelderman threatening the time of Jonathan Castroviejo. Not going to quite beat that, but he gets in in the same time as Miles Scotson. It's the fickle hand of fate that has undone Tom Dumoulin. Shakes his head, a rueful smile, completes his time trial as best he could and just about makes the top 10 in a time of 14.52. So just remember now that, uh, let's say, Simon Yates went through in 8.24. And that's not a bad measurement for Alejandro Valverde to assess himself. 8.16. Wow. That's eight seconds faster than Simon Yates. And that is a, a competitive uh, time by absolutely anyone's measurement. I think it puts him on parity. Yes, it does, with Wilco Kelderman at this point. But if Valverde can hold his form all the way to the line, he'll be making gains on a number of other riders in the general classification. Remember, he starts today three seconds better than everyone else. 14, 48, ninth place, 27 seconds down on Rowan Dennis. 14, 48. So uh, that's kind of predictable, isn't it? A sprinter managed to do a fantastic TT through 7.1 kilometers, but then I think the attritional just effort time. of a time, time trial just started to tell, and he has lost time in the second half. Nonetheless, an excellent time. In fact, the same time as that little clutch of GC riders, Lopez and Yates, 15-10. These are the standings then. Dennis wins by 14 seconds to Jonathan Castroviejo. Miles Scotson in third place. Jos van Emden fourth. No sign of Tom Dumoulin in those top ten. His mechanical uh, paid for his efforts. And uh, Alejandro Valverde pops up in ninth place. And that's significant in the GC. Alex Dowsett just about squeezes into the top ten. 29 seconds slower than Rowan Dennis. And we know now that Rowan Dennis will be the red jersey going into the final stage. Castroviejo breathing down his neck. 14 seconds down. Kelderman, though, 16 seconds down on Dennis. He's a threat. Look at Alejandro Valverde, 24 seconds down. That's a chunk of time he's going to have to make up on Rowan Dennis, but it's not impossible. Dumoulin, still not out of it.